Um, so I'm sitting here in nature right now, and uh, you know I'm a good capitalist. Uh, so I want to you know make a profit. I want to use these resources to to make some wealth here. And I'm looking around, and I see some possibilities. I see some trees of, up above me. I could maybe cut those down and put them into lumber. I see some water flowing past me here. Maybe I could bottle that in plastic bottles and sell them for a profit. Um, there's some rock here at the riverbed. Maybe I could mash it up into gravel. Potentially, there's you know uh, natural gas and oil below the shale, which I could frack into and retrieve and sell for a profit. Maybe there's some gold that I could pan for. Um, or dig through the ground to get. Um, there is some some potential ways for value. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call in my investor friends and we're gonna develop a big processing plant here and uh, extract the value from this otherwise valueless place. Because if the wood was rotten and the water, you know, took too, it was, was too hard to process into bottles and there was no oil, there would be no wealth here, there would be no value. Um, at least uh, in my conception of the world. Um, now, there are other things which uh, create value, things like creating plastics and uh, knickknacks and iPhones, processing aluminum, um, you know, coal plants, coal-fired power plants create value because we can sell the electricity. These are things that have value. Now, there are unintended consequences from those things, uh, those unintended consequences being poison going into the air and increased carbon dioxide leading to global warming, um, leading to the destruction of the planet, uh, poison going into the water and sludge and carcinogens, contaminating drinking water for people. Um, but those have no costs because I don't have to pay those costs unless there's explicit government regulations uh, saying that I have to. But otherwise, those are externalities, which are a good deal for me. Because uh, if I can make plastic crap and not pay for anything, then I can sell the plastic crap for a profit, makes lots of money, and then everybody else can deal with it in the form of choking sea turtles and, you know, microplastics in their stomachs and future generations having to deal with the cleanup costs. But I don't have to deal with it as a capitalist. And this is what's called a market failure. Um, uh, in this case, specific to externalities, meaning that uh, I take into account the cost for me to you know, get the resources to manufacture the process, but I don't take into account the cost to you, the cost to future generations, the cost to the rest of the world, the cost to the environment, the cost to animals, the cost to everything else except for uh, you know, the, my bottom line in terms of the dollar and cents that I explicitly have to pay um, to you know, build my factory and get the products to assemble my goods. Um, this is, this is a, a big problem, and it's something that uh, unless the government or unless society comes in to correct by making industry take into account the actual costs of their exploitation of the earth, um, it's going to exploit the most vulnerable. It's not going to exploit you know, resource, you know, the, the, the trees around Beverly Hills or wealthy suburbs um, are not going to be cut down. But the, in third world countries, the, uh, you know, the garbage of the world and the e-waste and the toxic chemicals will be shipped to. Um, even in the U.S., Cancer Alley in, in the south is where the most polluting carcinogenic um, industries are gonna are gonna locate because those people have the least fight back. They have the least political power because of their historical historically exploited status and their lack of wealth. Um, and those and in that way, our cost, our co our capitalist cost, uh, can be distributed to the rest of society. And it's a fundamental systemic problem. It's not a problem with individual bad people in the oil industry, in the plastics industry, in the manufacturing industry. It's something that I have to do because if you can distribute your cost to society but I have to pay for mine, I'm going out of business and so the most ruthless polluting industries are gonna win. And so this is something that I think people should take into account when lauding the benefits of an economic system which they don't fully understand and haven't even taken into account.